right, we're at the nurseries, uh, trip away, and there's an ex as our explore, there's an explore next to us. There's an explore next to that one. There's an explore next to that one. There's two explores next to that one, and there's and explores there's, behind. And then, and then there's explores over there, three yep. in a row. Yep, we're at an explore meetup. Woo! <laughs> Yes, we're at the Nurseries Caravan Park, just in York. It's the south part of York. We've been to Beechwood, which is on the north part of York, and uh, we're next for an explore meetup. There's quite a few of us right here. Uh, I'll go give a little quick guided tour before we uh, do the rest of the video. That's the reception area. It leads down to the, the entrance. As you can see, it's quite a little sort of wooded area. Uh, through there, there is the children's playground and facilities block. To the right is the touring uh, area. This is the lovely little playground, which is just outside the facilities block. It's early in the morning, so everybody else is still in bed at the moment. But I've got up to have a, a wash and whatnot. And I think behind the actual playground is that over there is a, a seasonal pitch area. You can be quite a lot of seasonal pitches in here. That was a say to the right here, as the facilities block. Park up when you're in a touring car on. Or camper van, but not seen any camper vans actually. Mm -hmm. Oh, totally. There's one behind me. Looks up further up into the site, there's some little chalet things. The exit's over there. And on the right hand side and behind these trees is all these seasonal pictures. I'm quite surprised how many seasonal pictures there are there. Now back at reception again and behind the reception, apparently, which I've not seen yet, there is a game room. There's the sign. And it's too early in the morning, so it's locked. I'm going to have a look at that later on. It's like a little maze, this place. I've just walked through another little wooded bit near reception and I found a, a little football pitch. And it goes around to another little seasonal pitch area. Some more of those. I keep calling them chalets, but what's the word I'm looking for? It's going to have a It's too early in the morning to think of these sort of like holiday cottage things or whatever they're called but yeah even more stuff down there yeah so first impressions are it's a really nice little site it's very wooded and so whatnot and uh, lots of little bits and bobs to explore lots of stuff for the kids to do well let's see how the rest of the holiday goes Here we have some of the caravans. We've got one explorer, 
another explore. There's an explore behind there, an explore there, an explore behind again, another explore, and that's us tucked away in the corner over there. The running crew, as usual, is up early on a Saturday morning, ready to go for a park run. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't as Mandalorian said, this is the way. <laughs> right, have fun at the running. Bye. I'll make the beds. Okay. <laughs> That's a good house husband. <laughs> I do love our little Explore 304, but making the beds in the morning and then making them all again at night time is... Certainly one of the pains of having it. I know it's just a minor pain, but it's just... Sometimes you just, you just want to chill, don't you? Right then, here we go. Let's make this bed. Ta-da! It's that easy. It only takes a second. What we tend to do is leave the bottom bunk where Esther sleeps uh, pretty much made up. And then we pack all of the bedding we have because there's quite a lot of it and you have limited space in the 304 we pack it into these bags and store it on the top bunk which you need to sort of tidy up a little bit They've had their run and we've had a bit of a lazy day. We've had a bit of a little bit of a snooze as well. I haven't done. No, we've had a bit of a snooze in the caravan. We're just gonna see if we can explore the uh games room that we couldn't get into earlier. Yeah. Let's have a look. Games room. Games room. Games room. That's quite big, isn't it? I don't think this would be like this. It's quite swish, isn't it? We're gonna play some table tennis, but we need to hire. Do we need to hire? Not hire. We need to buy a, tip, a ping pong ball. So we're gonna to go to the shop, which is just around the corner. It's always nice. Stroke shop is a little tortoise. It's called Torty, apparently. You look at me. Smile, you're on YouTube. He never famous. smiles. He's famous. We've had enough of ping pong and we're going down to have a game of football. Esther's going to go in goal, but the unfortunate thing is we don't have a football, so we're going to use a ping pong ball. Right? Are you ready? Oh 
Where's it go? <laughs> Not the best. Yeah. Yes! What a goal! Right, we've been to the shop and we've upgraded. We've got ourselves ice cream each. And we've got ourselves a football. Let's play. Hi there guys, um, just wanted to let you know that this is a really good campsite if you're thinking of staying at the um, somewhere in order to go to the vintage fair which is always on at the York Racecourse and um, it's on this weekend, I couldn't believe it. Um, I did see some um, people all dressed up looking amazing when I finished parkrun at the York Racecourse and then we got back to the campsite and saw a fantastic, very dapper looking pair in their vintage clobber. Um, just come back from the vintage fair and they're heading off again today. I'll pop a little photo in for you. They have a brilliant little cute uh, Ariba um, and um, the chap's looking absolutely fab on his way there again today. Still the debris. I really wave. Oh, empty chairs. Smile, smile. You're on, you're on candid camera. <laughs> Hello there. You can't see us. Oh, there's, there's our watch. I can see your watch. We're just uh, hanging out with the Explore gang, having a few drinks, as you can tell by Mrs. Heho there. But yes, a, 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 a very pleasant evening. Uh, thanks for watching. Thanks for watching. We're waving. Hello everyone. This is the morning after last Hi. night. Hi. So it was so nice yesterday, wasn't it, to meet everybody? It was, yeah. Just chilling out outside the caravan all together, having a few beers, a few drinks. Setting the world to rights, talking about the explores. <laughs> but yeah, it was a fun night. I had a relaxing day yesterday. The weather's lovely today, it's quite sunny. It doesn't feel the sun's not out much, but it's warm, isn't it? It feels nice actually, it's really nice weather. So we're just deciding what to do next. We're not sure whether we're going to head into York and have a little explore or we're just going to uh, chill about and play. We'll just see what it does. We might go to York. Think we're going to go to York? Yeah, we'll do like a little park and ride. Yeah. Park and ride is probably definitely a good option. And I headed to the uh, park run yesterday. It, parking was quite bad, wasn't it? Yeah. We almost missed the start of it. In fact, we did miss the first we did. few minutes. <laughs> Six minutes. <laughs> so hopefully some footage of York coming up now.
way too much weight. Right, so that was York and uh, nice day out. So now we're just uh, getting together with all the three or four guys again. And the, uh, sorry, not just three or four, just various explore guys. And we're just gonna have a little talk, a little drink. And uh, last night before we head up back tomorrow, it's been a nice weekend. Well, it's the last morning, so it's time to start packing up and leave. Had a nice weekend. We'll probably do a little uh, summer before the end, so stay till the end. But we might do a little summary on what we thought of the site and uh, the weekend and stuff. But it's been nice. So it's just time to pack up, hitch up, and get going. It was nice, yeah, it was, a, it was nice to hook up with a lot of explore owners and chat and have a couple of nights putting the world to rights and what have you. Yeah, it was nice. It, it was, was nice. really good. Yeah, we've met some lovely people there. It'd be nice to meet them again next year. I just met a friend to play with as well. It was a really nice site for children, actually. Yeah, the nice nurse, nurseries in York. York. It's like the southwest part of York. Yeah, yeah. it's a lovely, look, it's the first, um, I wouldn't say it was commercial, is it private or commercial site? Non-club site anyway. Non-club site, yeah. And, and I met the owners, Nicola and Duncan, they were lovely, they were mucking out on the last day. But it just feels nice, it's, um, it's, it hasn't got many pictures, it's got lots of seasonal pictures on there. Uh, but the, the, the touring pictures, not that many, and they're, and they're quite like nicely spaced out in little wooded areas and stuff. It's, it did, it had the feel of Sandringham, that nice tree, kind of nice tree. It's very quiet, even though you're so close to York, which is fantastic. Esther's favourite part was meeting Torty, if you can hear that. She's, she's a she, resident she, tortoise. She's in the back and she's camera shy. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> but yeah, so yeah, all, all in all, we had a lovely weekend. I hope you enjoyed watching the video. Um, don't forget to hear her Let's Tour. Well, like, subscribe to all the good stuff. I'll see you guys next time. What she said. <laughs> Take care, guys. Bye. Bye.